Right, remember this is race 29. Remember race 28 is a void race. You, you can't run races with only one horse in the league. So that race couldn't be run. It's a 2 mile 5 handicap hurdle from Musselburgh. Uh, a Sapphire and Steel Martin Leadham, Sacra Castle, Zanuck Cherry, Squadron Sandwich, Martin Leadham, Ella Kissane, it's Ella Kiss Angel, Patrick Hogan, Princess, uh, Alex Cherry, California Dreaming, Patrick Hogan, Barkin Athletics, Stu Gray, Train Park, Stu Gray, Distant Castle, Obi Wan, and Native Tongue, Obi Wan. Ten horses here at Musselburgh in the Glasgow Handicap Hurdle. Now to start, and away they go. The Native Tongue for Obi-Wan is quickly away and those yellow colours are the orange epaulets on the Steve Leeds from in second stable companion Distant Castle out wide Californian Dreaming is on the outside of Squadron Sandwich on the rail is Ella Kiss Angel which just on that one's outside the uh, Scottish horse uh, strainer's horse Sacra Castle for Alex Cherry uh, then comes Princess uh, just behind that is uh, Sapphire and Seal and Train Park at the back of the field for uh, Stu Gray as Native Tongue takes him along from out wide California Dreaming then the two Alex Cherry horses together, Sacra Castles and Princess in those distinctive orange colours, orange sleeves, orange cap colours. Just behind that, the black colours of Barking Athletic for Stu Gray. On the inside of that, jumping better than Barking Athletic was Distant Castle. Uh, Travelling wide at this stage is Californian Dreaming, has dropped a few places. Kiss the Ella Kiss Angel is on the rail. A squadron Sandwich is very wide for Martin Leadham in the back of the field, Train Park. Slow jump by Train Park at the back for Stu Gray as Native Tongue takes him along. So Native Tongue leads from Stubble Companion, Distant Castle who's been passed on either side now by Princess and Sacra Castles for Alex Cherry. In between horses is Bark and Athletic for Stu Gray. Uh, three wide at this stage is um, Californian Dreamy, who's on the outside of Sapphire and Steel on the rail. Uh, the second Patrick Hogan horse, Ella Kiss, and Kiss Angel, with Squadron Sandwich just behind that in the back of the field train park. He's only about eight lengths off this leader, Native Tongue. And he had Musselburgh, Native Tongue takes him along for Obi-Wan from in second Sacra Castle. Barking Athletic on that one's outside, in between horses, Distant Castle, the yellow colours for Obi-Wan. Then the orange cap, orange thieves on the outside is Princess, uh, California Dream, the yellow colours and the black cap, that's Patrick Hogan's horse uh, from Myland. Sapphire and Steel just behind that for Martin Lee, with those red colours and yellow cap. They're followed by Ella Kiss Angel for Patrick Hogan. The Lilac and One Strap, that's Squadron Sandwich for uh, Martin Eden, the second Martin Eden horse in the race. They jump the next and the back of the field still train park for Stu Gray. So Native Tongue still leads. They've jumped half the fences in this race and they're about halfway as Native Tongue leads from Sacra Castles and Barking Athletic out wide is Princess. Uh, then uh, a length or two back to Distant Castle who just precedes uh, Sapphire and Steel who's on the inside of uh, California Dreaming. Two lengths back to uh, Squadron Sandwich so they pass the stands for the penultimate time and head off on their final circuit and then the back of the field train park has passed one and that one is Ella Kiss Angel as Native Tongue takes him along three lengths clear of Bark and Athletic in second on the inside of that is Sacra Castles then comes Princess uh, California Dreaming is on the outside of Distant Castle trying to move through on the inside is Sapphire and Steel three lengths back to Bark and Athletic up to Train Park who's passed Kiss, uh, Ella Kiss Angel and now Squandered Sandwich at the back of the field for Martin Needham it's about ten lengths first last year as Obi-Wan's Native Tongue takes him along from Bark and Athletic in second for Stu Gray on the inside of California Dreaming for Patrick Hogan. Uh, jumping up into fourth is Sacra Castles, then Martin Leadham, Sapphire and Steel. They're followed by Princess, whose uh, train park is on the outside of Distant Castle, has lost a lot of ground, a lot of places, and Ella Kiss Angel at the back of the field for Patrick Hogan. Uh, needs a way out there, Ella Kiss Angel trapped behind horses at this stage as Native Tongue leads from Bark and Athletic in second. Then comes California Dreaming moving closer of Patrick Hogan. They're followed by the two Alex Cherry horses, Sacra Castles and Princess, Sapphire and Steel, the red colours just behind that. Ella Kiss Angel has got a split, uh, is moved up and now caught behind Sacra Castles actually and still nowhere to go for Ella Kiss Angel at the back of the field. It's Native Tongue who leads from Ca Ca California Dreaming in second, now moving through between horse at Distant Castle into third. Then comes Princess, Barking Athletic is starting to struggle. Moving up on that one's inside is Sacra Castles, Sapphire and Steel switch wide for a run. Ella Kiss Angel um, still got a wall of horses in front of me. He has is travelling well though and try push along at the back of the field train box squadron sandwich has been pulled up it's native tongue lead still from California Dreaming in second here comes distant castle on the outside of California Dreaming Barking Athletic running 
moving forward with Princess and Sacra Castles. The rest are starting to struggle. It's Native Tongue who jumps it well with three furs left to travel. It's Native Tongue from Bark and Athletic in second. California Dreaming is getting wary. Then comes Sacra Castles and Princess. It's still Native Tongue in front from Bark and Athletic for Stu Gray. Running on strongly up the outside of Princess. It's Native Tongue as they come to jump the next from Bark and Athletic out wide. California Dreaming is getting going in between on the inside. It's still Native Tongue in front from Bark and Athletic in between horses. California Dreaming is still going. Might have a say, yeah. It's Bark and Athletic from Native Tongue. California Dreaming between horses jumps to the front and Patrick Hogan's California Dreaming comes to the front with half a full and left to travel as California Dreaming is going to win comfortably for Patrick Hogan from Native Tongue in second. Then came Bark and Athletic back in third. I think Sacra Castles will probably get fourth and uh, Princess is back in fifth. But no doubt about the winner, California Dreaming for Patrick Hogan. Wins comfortably. To get a bit about pace in the straight, but picked up nicely to go to win comfortably about, about two and a half lengths from Barking Athletic in second for Stu Gray. The long time leader, Native um, Tongue, was third for AB1. Then came Sacra Castles for Alex Cherry and Princess back in fifth for Alex Cherry. Mark Leedham will take you through the rest of the card on week nine.